back here again to continue the Roman quest. So I've had some really good stuff off here and um, I'm hoping I can get this field done. This hole here is where I start. I always leave a hole the night before and then I know where to start the next morning. That's my marker. And I've done one, two, three, four steps, got a signal in the fifties, dug it and I can see it and it looks like a silver hammered. Am I wrong or am I right? I have not picked it up. I can see tinges of silver in there. And yep. <laughs> what a bloody start! Silver hammered. Look at that. Look at it coming up. Look at that. Don't know what year it is. I don't believe this. And this is the first thing I've found up the top end of the field that's worth anything. I normally just get cartridges and stuff. What a cracking little start that is. 20 seconds into the hunt, silver hammered. Don't know what this is. I don't think it's Roman. It looks thin and it must have been on the top. I dug a hole but it's dry as a bone. Is it another? No, it's a Roman. Okay, so that's my first Roman of the day. I thought it might be hammered for a minute, but that's a nice little find. I'm not complaining at all. I'm at the top end of the field again. I got a 63 signal, fully expecting a bottle top again. And there, it's popped out. It looks Roman. It's definitely Roman, that is. And that's the furthest one I have found up the field so far. So that's unusual. Good little find. So two Roman and one silver hammered. Got 41 signal, it's out. It took me ages to find it. I don't think it's a coin. I can't see any, anything on it. No, it's not a coin. What is it? I don't know. It might be, oh, top of a shotgun cartridge. Look, this is going to be a surprise for you and for me. I got uh, 40 signal, so I dug down, and then the signal got stronger. I got 78 signal. I had to dig down quite a ways. I've dug it out. I don't know what it is. I haven't looked. Look, but I can see something green there, right? And there, I don't know. I don't know what that is. It's part of something, but whatever it was, it was broken. I don't know whether that be Roman or whatever. I was beginning to give up hope because I've done about four runs now. Uh, I've only found two. <laughs> Not bad for me, but I think this is another one. Look, there you go. Yeah, another Roman coin. Let me just get them all off it. Yeah, hundred percent Roman. So that's three Roman and one silver hammered. I got the oddest signal here. Anyway, I dug it out and it's right on the uh, the verge of the plough line. And uh, I know where it is, I've seen it, it's right there. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's a Roman coin. And yeah, that makes four today, I think. So we're coming back on onto par again. Okay, so four Roman coins. Beautiful, 75 signal. I was expecting a piece of lead or uh, even the shotgun cartridge, but I can see it. I've just uncovered it there. I haven't touched it yet. It's a big Roman, big-ish anyway. That's nice. Look at that. Can you see the head on that? Once that dries out, you won't see that head. Let's have a look what's on the other side. There, look, a bit of a pattern on the other side too. Beautiful. What a lovely coin. I'm going to take a photo of that now. We're getting into the Romans again. I dug two shovelfuls out there. I come with my pinpointer and it dropped out the side right there. There it is. I'm sure that's a Roman. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'll take a photo of this one too while it's damp and wet. It's a piece of lead and it's shaped like a flying saucer look. So 
I'm pretty sure that's not a musket ball. It's probably Roman. Don't know what it was made for. But uh, interesting nevertheless. I don't know what this is. It didn't give me a ferrous signal. But it looks like it's iron. And it's a ring. Look at that. I don't know. So I couldn't tell you the age. Couldn't tell you what it's off. Or what it's for. But it looks roughly made. So I'm thinking possibly Roman. Uh, if it were machined, it would be a lot better than that. Well, well, well. What have we got here? I'm just on the way back home. Thought I would... Oh, it's a Roman. Right over here. Well, I can't believe that. I'll have to do the rest of this. Nice little Roman. Massive pistol ball. Really heavy. I believe, no, it's got like a face on it, that is, or is it me? Look, look at that. Can you see two eyes and a mouth on there? Because I can. How weird is that? I wonder. I wonder if it's Roman or if it really is a musket ball. I'll check that out, I'll clean it when we get home, we'll have a look. 77 signal. I'm on my way down to the car. And I never did this bit. The lines run that way, parallel, and then the other lines run off, and I've been doing those lines. And I left this, it's about 10 metres wide. And, I don't know, we're going to have to get this little bit done. Now look at that, that is an ancient buckle. Very old, may even be Roman, I do not know. What a beautiful little item that is. Absolute stunner. Jesus Christ, that's really old, that is. Really old. I got a really weird signal, but I have a feeling that that is a ring, maybe Roman, or part one. You can see it's been blasted. So, probably a ring. Can't be anything else, really. Nice little find. Just got the tiniest little Roman. Really tiny. <laughs> Look at that little fella. So, notch another one up now. Let's have a look at the reverse side. See if we can see anything. I don't know if you can see anything there. There you go. Not touched it, but it's out and it's there, look. Can you see? There, look. There it is. It's there. Oh, but it's Roman, yeah. Is it a Roman? It looks it. Yeah, that's a Roman, all right. Yep, definitely. Let's have a photo of him while it's still wet. So, another score. Very thin, though. Very thin. There you go. There he is. Look. This is a roundup. I'm slacking today. I've only got nine Roman today. So, uh, and one silver hammered. Uh, and then I've got this little thing. Don't know what it is. That reminds me of, if it were the same result, of a leaf or something like that. Uh, and then part of a ring. And this beautiful buckle. Which I'm not sure if it's Roman or not. But I can't see it being anything else. Uh, and you can see where it's hinged there, look. And the material would go through there. So that's a beautiful buckle. I will check that out. I'll come back to you. There's the roundup. I'm just going to clean these up a little bit. Uh, then I'll, I'll show you. And I'm going to put them in oil. Um, and leave them for a few days. Or a few weeks. And then they do clean up a bit better then. So maybe you see that one for example. has got soil on it. And I've just done it with a toothbrush. But it won't, it won't come off. It needs to soak for a while. And that soil will come out next time you, you scrub it with a brush. But look, I'll zoom in. Well, no, I'm not zooming in. I'll just come in. You can see the head on that one. See the head on that one. I think that's the head. I'm not sure. Uh, no, that would be the tail. So the head will be on the other side there, I guess. I, I'm not sure. No, not so good, that one. Uh, there's the head on that one. There's the head on that one. I'm not sure if that's a head or not. 
and that one you can see where the stuff's either it, it's like a layer coming off and it will come off with the soil so I'm just going to dip these in oil and that one is the tiniest little thing up can you see any detail on that really tiny look at it I'm going to put it on my finger I'll hold still but it's a coin nevertheless very tiny smaller than my small finger now that look so there we go I'll clean everything up almost and I'll take photos of them when they're clean